like in this game, uh, were there any discussions about removing Tristan Jory from net and what ultimately led you to stick with uh, Jory throughout the game? I'm not going to discuss the discussions we have as a coaching staff and the decisions we make at any position. Seth Roba. Mike, what do you think maybe went sideways for you guys over the course of this series? Um, you had a mostly healthy roster. You had a pretty deep lineup from at all positions, and it seemed like you guys were playing pretty well down the stretch of the regular season. Just what didn't click for you guys over the course of six games? I felt like we played pretty well for a lot of the series. And, uh, you know, it, for, it, it was, certainly wasn't from a lack of scoring chances, of scoring opportunities. Uh, you know, we're, we're obviously playing against a tough opponent. We're in close games. So, uh, you know, five of the six games that we played, we felt we felt really good about our team game. And so, um, you know, there was one of them that we would have liked. We would have liked a better effort. But uh, for the most part, there, there was there was a lot of good hockey being played on both sides. You know, that's the nature of uh, playoff hockey. Greg Wyshynski. Like you just like you said, you guys played well enough to win some of these games. I think in the last two games, you played well enough to win. How much of the last two losses is based on goaltending? Listen, you, you you win games as a group, or you win games as a team, you lose games as a team. It's not any one position. It's not any one person's fault. Everybody's doing their best to try to to try to be part of the solution. And you know, it, there's there's a number of things that go on throughout the course of games. We could all be better. We all have to find ways to to have success through this. We got to support one another through the process, and that's how we look at it. Down. Mike, after a series like this that obviously was physical in, in both directions, there's going to be talk about the Penguins needing to get bigger, tougher, more physical, pushing back and everything else. What, what's your stance on that, based mostly on this series, but also the whole season that you had? I couldn't have been more proud of the season that we had as a team. You know, I said to the players after the game that I was, I was so disappointed for them because I know how hard they've worked and and some of the some of the adversities that we've that we've fought through throughout the course of the year to give ourselves an opportunity to compete in this position and I know how much these guys care uh, I I couldn't be more you know be more privileged to coach a group of players like this group of players they're uh, they're high character people um, you know we didn't lose this series because we weren't big enough you know and so you know that the, the where the roster goes moving forward, that that'll be a that'll be a discussion for the off season. But this particular group that we had, uh, I can't say enough about them. Rob Rossi, Mike, I know that it's the decisions of other people, but you'll also, I'm sure, be included in the conversations. From what you've seen of Sydney, of Genny, and Chris, um, do you still feel that they comprise the core of a team that can win a championship at this stage of their career? And why, if so? I, I believe I believe in the, the core. This is the best core group of players that I've ever been around, bar none. They're, they're a passionate group. They're generational talents. They still can compete at an extremely high level, and they've shown it game in and game out. Dave Molinari. Thank you for speaking with us, Mike. Can you tell us who might have been playing with an injury that could have had an impact on his performance in the series? No. Wes Crosby. Hey, Mike, uh, just going out in the first round uh, the past three years, I think this year might have been a little bit different. I think you um, had, you know, the better play through most of the series, but how would you maybe describe your level of frustration just with how things have gone uh, the past uh, three years? Well, it's disappointing. You know, obviously you have high expectations when you go into the season. You work so hard all year long for the opportunity to compete for the Stanley Cup. That's what we're all in it for. And that's why it stinks, because you care so much. And uh, I know this group of players cares. I know how hard our coaching staff works as well. As well. And, and, and the care factor that, that goes into uh, trying to put this team in the best position to be successful. So... Uh, is it disappointing? Sure, it is. It it, it stings. You know, it it hurts. Uh, but that's the nature of pro sports. You know, there's a lot of good teams. There's there's a fine line between winning and losing. And uh, you know, and and so when when it when it's a total investment uh, of all your efforts uh, from everyone involved, um, 
that that's why it uh, that's why it it's as disappointing as it is. Last question, Tim Benz. I'd like to follow up on the point that you made earlier about winning as a team and losing as a team and not wanting the sole focus to be on goaltending. What did you learn about your team and they, these six games against the Islanders that has to get better aside from that aspect? Well, like I said, there's uh, there's such a fine line between winning and losing. And, and you know, for, for a lot of this series, we really liked uh, our overall team game. You know, we, we thought... We were trying to play to our strengths. We were we were playing to our identity. Uh, we were trying to dictate the terms out there. You know, we're playing against a really good opponent as well. And so uh, there, there's a fine line between winning and losing. And it didn't go our way this series. We'll take a look at it uh, and and reflect on this and, and see what we can take out of it. It's a difficult question to answer when it's so raw. And, you know, we're 20 minutes removed. So I'm not sure I can give you a an answer that that will satisfy you. I, I don't have one for you right now, other than, um, you know, how, how disappointed I am because I know how hard this, this group of players works.